Hello there and welcome to the card grotto. Today I thought I'd take it back to basics slightly and talk about acrylic blocks. Um, this might sound a bit boring to some people, hopefully you'll find it helpful. Um, if you're a new stamper, um, this is kind of what I'm aiming for, if you're a new stamper um, hopefully you'll find it helpful. And But also if you're an experienced stamper, um, I know myself when I watch videos um, I get lots of hints and tips you know whether I use that particular thing or not or whatever so hopefully you'll still find it helpful so I'm going to go through um, basically my favourite acrylic blocks sounds a bit strange a bit of a geeky thing a favourite blocks I have a lot of acrylic blocks um, if you're a new stamper you do not need this many blocks um, but I use them all for sort of various different um, stamps and things like that um, and I've acquired quite a few over my time so um, I'll go through them all individually and um, first of all some of the um, probably the, the more basic acrylic blocks are um, some from Paper Mania um, this is kind of like the general um, acrylic blocks um, I really like these ones from Paper Mania they are um, really inexpensive um, you can get a set of five for um, £9.95 here in the UK and um, what I really like about them is that they have grid lines on them um, I personally really like grid lines on acrylic blocks really help um, to line things up um, and they're just really helpful to have um, I think these ones were from a set of five um, there is a couple here that weren't in the set um, that I've either bought separately or have come in separate sets. Um, I like that they're not too thick, um, they're really lightweight, which I really like. I don't have necessarily problems with my hands. Um, I know a lot of people have dexterity problems and things like that. They do struggle to use um, normal acrylic blocks. Um, these are a lot lighter, um, which I do like. Um, and these ones, these smaller ones here are very light um, and these, as I say, really inexpensive I use this one in particular a lot um, it's got loads of grid lines on it and I use it um, mainly with sentiments and then this one here um, is a large acrylic block um, this one is quite heavy um, I wouldn't recommend it if you do have um, problems with your hands um, there is some alternatives which I'll go through a bit later on um, but if you have no problems with your hands um, it is quite a good um, block to have, it's, it's helpful to have large blocks obviously for large um, images and things like that, obviously it depends on what you're stamping so I would definitely recommend these to um, beginners or to experienced stampers I really like those um, the next ones are by Stampin' Up um, I have three types from Stampin' Up, three sizes I don't have any of the larger ones because when I bought these I'd already have quite a few of these acrylic blocks that I don't need anymore um, this is the um, G block, the A block and the C block to start with when I bought them I wasn't sure if I was going to like them they are a lot thicker than my Paper Mania ones um, but actually they do have kind of a I don't know what you call it like a, a bit of the size that, that kind of fits your fingers in if that makes sense I'm not quite sure what the technical term is there um, there is one I know <laughs> the only downfall is they don't have um, grid lines on them if you buy the larger ones you can buy grid line stickers to s stick on them separately um, but they don't come with the smaller ones the benefit of these is they are really very clear um, and they are easy to hold um, because they've got that um, dent in the side um, the only thing with these is they're probably a little bit more expensive um, the G block which I do like for sentiments is um, £3.95 the A block which I find really useful for small dots or for small flowers or things like that um, this A block is £3.50 and then this C block is £5.95 um, they are good quality the benefit of acrylic blocks is generally you're not going to break them um, these are very tough uh, tough acrylic um, and obviously they'll last you a long time um, I use, I do use these a fair amount I probably use these two more than this one um, this is good for as I said small sentiments the only thing with it is I would generally go for clear with these and not um, mounted ones because they have no grid lines on them and obviously it's just a bit easier so this um, stamp set is the clearly besotted stamps um, and many messages set this one here the mini um, thanks that would be really good to stamp um, using that it's really good for small sentiments uh, obviously majority of them you wouldn't be able to fit on there but this one 
in particular you could and the way I would use it is to line it up on my grid mat I'm not going to lean over here because um, you'll see my big head but um, in this is what I'd do oh that didn't work very well today but um, I'd line it up on my grid mat and then um, stick it on and then stamp on my project that way so at least I know that although I don't know that I'm holding it straight um, I would know that the um, sentiment is straight on the block and although um, this generally isn't a, isn't a um, isn't acrylic block but I just thought I'd mention it because um, it is an extremely helpful thing to have and it is from Stampin' Up! This is the Stampin' Majig. You can buy other ones by the way. Um, I'm trying to think who the other company is that do them. Um, but basically, you, if you want to... It's very good for masking and um, things like that. Just general stamping. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. Um, or even lining up sentiments as well, especially on as I say these kind of blocks what you do if you don't know already is you take this bit of plastic you line it up with the edge of this you stamp um, on here and then you use this as a guide to where you want to do it on your card um, and then you bring this in you put it to the edge you take this away and then you use that and um, hold it up to the edge I'm trying to think of a better, <laughs> a better term but hold it up to the edge and then press down and you know that that is where you're stamping which is, is really handy to have uh, that is £10.95 from Stampin' Up and then my next lot of blocks um, which I really really love um, <clears throat> they're probably not for everyone but I really love them and they are circle blocks um, I just find them really easy to hold um, I use these a lot, a very lot. <laughs> um, I have two of the smaller ones and then one of the larger ones. Um, the larger one is, um, these are by Lawn Fawn by the way. I bought them from All That Scraps when it used to be called All That Scraps. It's now called CC Design Stamps I think. Um, but you can get them from Simon's Stamp. I haven't found anywhere in the UK that sell round ones. Um, but there probably is somewhere. Um, but from Summer Stamp, um, the smaller 2.5 inch ones are um, $6.95 and the larger one is $9.95. I don't use this one as much as the smaller ones, um, but I do really use these a lot and I really like them. Um, these obviously, I think actually probably are two different companies because one has two grid lines on it and one has one. Um, even with just this one, it's quite handy if you want to have something exactly in the center of something and um, you can just line it up with the center line and then these ones as well um, so I do like that they have grid lines on them even if they're not you know tons of grid lines and then the next ones are um, stamp mounts there's two different varieties that I have first of all I have the Martha Stewart um, footed stamp mount this is the small one um, I got mine from Summers' stamp it was um, $7.99. They do sell them in the UK at thatscrafty.co.uk and this one is $6.99 there. I've never bought from That's Crafty um, before, just so you know. I can't say whether they have good service or anything like that. I just want to put that out there because I am saying that you can get it from there. Um, but I know that a lot of people in the UK don't like to shop from America, which is completely understandable. Um, I do tend to shop from Simons & Stamp for these kinds of things because I know that I can get them easy from there so um, and when I bought them they definitely didn't sell them in the UK anyway so anyway this is the small one um, I really like it it's really handy um, to have especially again for sentiments um, I would still do the same thing even though it has grid lines on it I would line it up on my um, grid mat and then I would um, line up the grids on the acrylic block with the grid that is on my um, my mat and then I would know that that's straight this one isn't by the way because I'm not leaning over to look at it but you know um, the only downfall with this is that um, to fit a full size ink pad in is quite difficult you can do it if you have a small stamp like this you could just about get that in there um, 
but if you had a larger stamp it would be difficult as you you might be able to see from the feet they have a little bit of ink on them um, it's dry and it won't damage it but if you happen to get ink on them while you're inking the stamp and then you go and put it on your card like that you are going to obviously get ink on your card which is the downfall however if you have one of these smaller ones they're absolutely perfect you won't get ink on the feet so the premise of this is that you hover it over your image where well, you don't ha even have to hold it you literally just place it on your card like that and then when you're ready you push down simple as that really really handy to have um, especially for those people that have dexterity problems you don't have to hold an ink um, an acrylic block over your um, card obviously which is really handy this is the medium one um, this one was $12.94 from Summers and Stamp. Um, you can buy it from that's craftyshop.co.uk for $11.99 here in the UK. This one I thought I would really love because I love this smaller one. Um, unfortunately, I don't love it as much. I'm not quite sure why. I think it's because it's heavier. It doesn't have as much bounce. It's not so far away from the um, the ground, <laughs> from your card really. <coughs> Excuse me as much as the other one these are really quite thick plastic i do get why they're, they're using thick plastic thick acrylic um but the downfall is that because the feet aren't as long you don't have so much space in between and i don't know i just i don't like it as much unfortunately um i'm sure i'll still use it it's fine for clear stamps um you have got a bit of wiggle room with um, mounted stamps, once you mount yourself with easy mount, um, I use black um, easy mount foam which is quite difficult to get hold of but I tend to use that because it's a bit thinner. You can just about get away with it but oh, when I say just, I mean just. <laughs> um, but with the grey easy mount foam, that is basically the depth of the feet. Um, there is, that would just be against the... Um, in actual fact I think it's even for more so against it than the feet so you can't use that so if you were to buy this you could only use it with clear stamps and even then in all honesty I probably wouldn't recommend this large size I know other people like it so you know everyone obviously is each to their own but I probably <clears throat> if I had used it sorry excuse me if I'd used it I probably wouldn't have bought it I but I do love this one and I do definitely recommend this one so on from that is um, a, another stamp press. This is the Fiskars Compact Stamp Press. This is the compact version. Um, the original version is massive. The grid inside is probably about the same size as an A4 piece of paper. Um, this is the compact one. It's obviously, for me personally, is a lot better. The benefit of such a large um, block which ordinarily if it was a normal block you probably wouldn't be able to hold and you wouldn't be able to use as a stamp because it's got these feet on it again you just put your stamp on it you just place it over your card and then you push down this thing is amazing <laughs> um, I love it and you can use it with clear stamps you can use it with the black foam mount and you could use it with the grey foam mount as well more than enough um, room to stamp them all um, and also which is good is that you can um, stamp say you've got an image and then you've got a sentiment and you want to stamp them both at the same time you can do that because there's enough room on the stamp press and especially if you're um, making loads of cards of the same design that would solve so many <laughs> so much time just by doing that and yeah I just I do really like this I can say that this probably is my most um not my most used item but the one that i'm glad that i bought the most probably um it from summer's stamp it's $13.74 and um, from oyster stamps here in the uk it's $9.99 however i bought mine from ebay i bought it quite a long time ago um but if you can still buy them off eBay and that's probably still the cheapest place you're going to get them I know not everyone likes to order from eBay though so um, but like I said you can order it from Summer to Stamp or Oyster Stamps and I have ordered from Oyster Stamps before and although I know some people have problems with them I am absolutely fine with them I've, I've always received good customer service from them so 
that hopefully has helped you. Um, if I was to pick and buy everything again, I would probably buy this Fiskars one, the small um, Martha Stewart one. Definitely the small round ones, um, and a couple of the paper mania ones. This one in particular, as I said, I use it on almost every one of my cards, and then probably like a small one. Those ones you could get away with everything you needed in all honesty you could get away with everything you needed from just this one um, and you could only have this one but I do think it's helpful just to have a couple of extra ones especially if you're stamping lots of um, things in different colours um, these would be my ones that I would probably pick possibly um, one of the um, stamping up points as well if I was you know being extra generous to myself. Anyway, I hope that's helped some of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.